Hey everyone, this is Jeff Pulse coming back with another video. Uh, this is going to be my recap of day three of the uh, NFL draft for the New York Jets. Um, uh, like all of you, I was shock, uh, surprised, maybe shocked with some of the uh, picks that uh, Joe Douglas uh, put together. Um, but like I told, I said everyone in the beginning of this channel, I am going to think like what Joe would do and not what I would do. And after digging around with some of the players and figuring out what what they bring to the team and seeing what they can do. I'm going to give you my uh, basis for all of them. Um, I will also be coming up with a full recap of the entire draft, uh, either later today or tomorrow, maybe tomorrow night, because uh, I want to do a little bit more research into the players, uh, but um, get my overall opinion on them. Uh, but going first uh, with pick number 120, we chose LaMichael Perrin from Florida. Um, I've said this in my previous videos, we were always going to draft a backup running back for Le'Veon Bell and possibly a replacement. This just means with uh, Le uh, LeMichael Perrin from Florida, um, he's a complimentary back, uh, will work well with uh, uh, Le'Veon Bell. It looks like with his skill set, a lot of people compare him to Bilal Powell. I still believe they'll bring in a free agent back. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if Bilal Powell was back. Be honest with you, um, with everything going on, but with Michael Prin's uh, college career, it, uh, not not a lot of production, but definitely a complimentary guy for going forward. Um, I love it. Um, after looking into a little bit further, um, and you'll see a theme with all the picks. All these guys were captains of their team uh, in some way, shape, or form. So high character, leadership quality guys, which is something we don't actually do very well with our team. So um, I like the I like I like the pick. Uh, we got a backup running back. Um, with the 125th pick, we picked James Morgan from Florida International University. I think that's what the college is called. Um, basically, with this one, I was not happy uh initial with my thought process because like everyone else there's probably other players on the board that we wanted another wide receiver another edge rusher um curtis weaver was still on the board so there was a lot of everything on there but um big stat jets are zero and six when sam donald's in start that's with josh mccown that's with trevor simeon luke folk we don't win when he doesn't play um so i understand why they're doing this and another reason why i think it is one um, if you look at the good teams, they don't pay for their backups. Very rarely do they do that. Um, teams that pay for their backups are usually guys competing for starting jobs because the starter isn't that good. Um, so I understand this. This is going to be a, a cheap four-year deal. Uh, so we have someone to back up uh, Sam and, and exactly what they're looking for. I understand the thought process, not what we wanted, but... Overall, I think it's a great idea to get a cheap backup. Um, they're probably still going to bring someone else in. I wouldn't be surprised if they don't just because of the fact of the way this offseason is going. Uh, but an okay pick. Um, nothing too great. Nothing spectacular either. Um, uh, with the 129th pick. Love, love this pick. Cameron Clark out of Charlotte. If you look at his uh, tape, he is a left tackle. Um, but I'm telling you right now, he's going to be a left guard for us probably next year. Um, I don't think he'll... He'll probably play situational this year, depending on how the line goes, but I can see him playing next year. Not this year, next year. Um, but, man, if you have Becton and him next year on rookie contracts, uh, even though you have depth, I think after this year, Alex Lewis will probably be gone, uh, depending on how he plays. If he plays really, really well, it's a different set of circumstances. Um, I think Brian Winters is gone. Greg Van Rotten will probably still be here, but he's going to be a swing guy after this year because they're going to get the young guys in. So if you look at his tape, very good player, very solid pickup. I'm very shocked because um, I wanted Tyler Bien as the center from Wisconsin, and uh, um, we didn't get him. Um, I think uh, with the signing of Connor McGovern, um, they don't want to move out of the center because he had such a productive year with Denver last year, uh, but we'll see what happens. Um, uh, we, our next pick was 158 for Bryce Hall out of Virginia. Um, I will say this right now. I wanted him in the third round. I thought he would have been a steal in the third round and we got him in the fifth round. Um, look at his size. His size is everything for me for a corner. I don't like small corners. I only like small corners for slot purposes. Uh, anything else uh, below six feet, I'm not a big fan of for corners. Uh, you need big guys. Greg Williams loves big guys. Um, and if this guy can do anything replicate his production from 2018, he would not have been there 
uh, this year in the draft uh, uh, after the 2019 season because he was injured. Um, and that's a red flag, but people get injured, but we'll see what happens with him. But if you're telling me with this year, with how we uh, did everything with Bless Out Austin, Pierre Desir, now you got Bryce Hall based uh, when this pick was chosen, plus our other Nate Harrison, Arthur Mollett, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Um, it's not a bad pick. I uh, love the uh, value is probably the best word for this, um, and hopefully things will go forward. Uh, and uh, if he doesn't um, start this year, it's a good uh, fourth or fifth option for the team going forward. Um, uh, in the sixth round, we had two picks. Uh, one was at 191. We picked up pet punter Brandon Mann. I will go back with force with this. I don't think they wanted to pay a punter more than probably the league minimum, um, and I think that's a very real realistic possibility uh but man uh if you look at his highlights man they're starting already say he's already a top five punter in the league and he hasn't even punted one snap yet um special teams are key and the biggest thing i read into this is that he's gonna kick off so whoever we bring in is just gonna kick and i would not be surprised because of our issues last year if we try to spend money on kowskowski the former patriot kicker to come in I would not be shocked with that. It depends on how things fold off after this, because Joe Douglas said the next phase right now is free agents afterwards, uh, which I'll go over a little bit as well um, in this video as well, because there's one player I really, really like that we assigned as an undrafted free agent. Uh, with our other six pick, we picked up uh, Quinbar Wilson from the Colts. Uh, so to me, that's just an additional pick. I, I, I will include that into our picks for this year. He was a second round pick for the Colts in 2017. Um, that it's the same draft that we picked up May. Um, and there was a possibility back then that we could have gotten this guy over May. Um, obviously, I had a horrible, if you look at his PFF grade last year, I think he had a 30.3. It was not good, but he's only 23 years old. So um, you got to take shots. Um, same thing with Bryce Hall. He took a shot corner. He took another shot here. Um, I think day three, I think they probably give him a C plus, maybe a B. Uh, it really depends on how uh, I think Clark, Long term, I think a C, a C, a C, a, I think between a C plus and a B is probably okay for this one. I wouldn't go any farther than that. I would give the um, quick reaction running back. I would give a C plus uh, quarterback. I give a a D plus just because I none of us wanted it, but I think I understand the philosophy behind what Joe Luck is doing. Cameron Clark, I would give an A just because I think in a year he's going to be our left guard um, or right guard, one or the other. I, I don't. I it's just a perfect fit for what we're trying to do with big hog mollies. Uh, Bryce Hall, I give another A. Uh, you can't, the value's too good. Uh, Brandon Mann, I'm just going to give a straight C minus just because it's a punter. But I tell you right now, and when this, if the season does play off uh, in September, this is going to be a great change of pace because we had the most punts of any team last year with 87. So with our offense in it, uh crappy, and I can't even say it worked right now, a crappiness of what they were last year, um, this is just going to help them in the long run, uh, especially with our defense. Our defense was put in such bad spots. Like we had a top, uh, 10 defense, but our points against was horrible because our offense, our, our couldn't punt, even though Log Edwards was a decent punter, we just couldn't get past ourselves. Um, and with the Wilson trade pick, I'm going to give that a C as well. I will love to see what happens. Uh, depth in the corner room is definitely good. And look, at, if you look at everything that's been done so far, Nothing's been a reach um, so far. So I think day three was a solid day, not a great day. Um, and I think they're doing exactly what they say what they would do. I know everyone's probably mad that some players didn't come off the board, but we'll see what happens going forward. And like I said, I'll have a recap video uh, either uh, later today or tomorrow about the rest of the draft uh, with full, a full compliment thing. Uh, oh, last thing, uh, undraft or free agent. One guy I love, Lamar Jackson, Nebraska. Like I said with Brace Hall, height. If you look at his highlight reels, he is good. I'm surprised he wasn't drafted. I wanted the Jets to get him probably in the fifth round, but Bryce Hall is still there, so I can't argue with that. But to still get both of them, I think going forward, I think Lamar Jackson makes the, makes the team without even question. Um, I think he'll probably be a special team in this year, but I'm telling you right now, I, I love the pick. Uh, not the pick, the signing of him. Uh, but... We'll see what happens. Um, like I said, I'll have a recap video going forward uh, of the whole draft and what I think they did and how they uh, improved themselves going forward. Um, and I do appreciate uh, everyone who's watched this so far. Stay safe uh, and go Jets.